Putin on the Ritz was the order of the day, and as the banner shows, Tom Keen held its seventh consultancy forum. Around 600 participants shared insights and suggestions with Tam Keen officials. A huge powwow, basically, with the overall aim at developing keener agenda with industry's requirements. Other than that, the main hall was split into various business sectors on a round-table discussion basis. The feedback from these sessions will be incorporated into Tamkeen's operational plan for 2016, before it is presented to Tamkeen's board. Tamkeen also discussed initiatives for the coming year and hosted a press and media open question and answer session with management officials. Questions ranged from how much Tam Keen had ploughed back into all industry, whether small, medium or indeed large industry, to the actual role now or in the future of Tam Keen with regard to being the main body overseeing productivity in the country. Exclusive sessions were also held with representatives from 15 select sectors as a source of feedback. Tam Keen was established in August 2006 as part of Bahrain's national reform initiatives and Bahrain's economic vision and is tasked with supporting Bahrain's private sector and positioning it as the key driver of economic development. Proving a very popular body indeed, Tamkeen is a semi-autonomous labor fund authority, boasting to date over 100,000 beneficiaries, which represents 30,000 enterprises and around 7,000 Bahrainis. In very simple terms, businesses approach Tamkeen for what is effectively financial help to get started or expand the whole goal being to create industry and employment. With what appears to be a very conversant and well-heeled staff, Tam Keen Chairman and Acting Chief Executive himself, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, is notably passionate about Tam Keen, and it has never proved difficult to reach him from a public or media point of view, as he readily answers all queries at regular press and public gatherings. As mentioned, this is the seventh consultation round, who does what? TV asked Sheikh Mohammed about the regularity of such events. It's actually part of uh, the law for Tamkeen that we have to have an annual event to consult the public. Uh, so this is our big event, but we have many other events during the year. So uh, we feel it is, you know, Tamkeen is a public institution to serve the private sector and, and the Bahraini people. So we have to understand what they need, what the requirements are. Uh, and, and having these uh, consultation forums is, is key to, to building that understanding. So uh, the comments we've received today, uh, we incorporate into our plans for uh, the 2016 operational plan. Each sector has its own requirements, so that's why we divide it by sector. And, and try to um, make sure our understanding is correct and make sure our offerings and the programs we offer are, are serving the needs of, of the private sector. According to Sheikh Mohammed, it is a continuous evolution and mentioning just one of the suggestions from last year's powwow was transparency. On our website, we've revamped the whole process. You know where your application is at any one time. Uh, we've automated the payment system. So now the payment's automatic and you receive a text message and an email saying we've paid this amount. Another example is um, certain types of programs we've added based on feedback and requests uh, and, and things like that. So we always try to be responsive and adjust our plans uh, depending on what the, the feedback we receive. So from a public perception now, Tam Keen's come a long way. What do you think the overall perception is of Tam Keen among the public? Is it just a handout or do people really... I know you're very proud of Tam Keen, so what do you think the overall perception is? Well. Um, it's not for me to say, it's for me to, you, for other people to, to decide. But I, I like to think and, and I want people to think of Tamkeen as a lifelong partner. If you're starting out in employment and want your career to develop, Tamkeen can help you develop in your career. If you're starting out as an entrepreneur, uh, Tamkeen uh, is, is there to help you develop the, the business. You know, as you know, the word Tamkeen means empowerment. So we're here to empower people. All we want is someone to have initiative, that they want to do something with their lives. As long as that is there, we're here to help. Are the numbers in, in, uh, in, increasing each year? I mean, the number of people you help? Well, yes, ab absolutely. The number's increasing, but more importantly, we're trying to increase the impact of every dinar we spend. Because now we're, we've reached the point of um, maturity where our expenditure match our revenues. So now we need to start holding people accountable 
and, and increasing the impact of every dinar we spent. And that's another thing you would learn from these, these uh, sessions. sessions. Absolutely. That you must be accountable each time. Well, lastly then, uh, pe any misconception people might have of Tamkeen, you're not only small to medium business, you, you cover the whole board, don't you? Well, absolutely. And actually, this came as a result of our impact assessment. Um, the, the, we get more impact per dinar spent from the large companies than the small companies. So we give 10,000 dinars to a, a comp Abdullah Nas, a large company. They will employ 100 people, 100 Bahrainis. Or, and, and so their impact, because they're a bigger company, is more. They employ the most expats, they pay the most fees. So they're the biggest contributor to the fees. Okay. Uh, so they're entitled to some of, of the return. Tamkin has been known over the past couple of years on helping entrepreneurship. I think in the coming two years, it will be more about helping employees, train Bahrainis, give them the skills to achieve a better life. So that's it, one of many. The Tam Keen Consultation Forum 2015, the 3rd of November at the Ritz-Carlton in Bahrain. I'm Geg Hopkins for Who Does What TV.